All right. Hey guys, my name is Doc Shell. Welcome to the Dr. Test Prep YouTube channel. Right now, my goal is to help you be the best that you can be on the PSAT and SAT, meaning the new one, right? Now you get to have the access to the Desmos calculator for every question. And Khan Academy is amazing. The only thing that Khan doesn't do well is teach you how to use the Desmos calculator. So my channel connects with that. If you haven't seen Four Pillars, watch that. If you haven't seen how I'm designed my channel to match con, watch that video. Make sure you open up the Desmos calculator. When you do, the link is in the description. Click College Board. Also, if um, we are in my book on page 151. If you have my book, turn to page 151. If you don't, wonderful. Get paper and pencil. No big deal. Take screenshots. Do what you need to do. All right, let's look at number four. We're doing unit eight. Lesson five, um, number four, given the table to the right, find the value of F of G of negative one. So what that means is first we have to find G of negative one. So it's like you start on the inside and then you move to the outside. So here's negative one, here's G. So they match up right here. So now we have two. So now we need to find f of 2. So I'm going to look for the number 2, which is right here. I don't know why my color didn't switch. We're going to look for the number 2, which is right here. And now we're going to go to f, which is right here. And where do they match up? They match up at 1. So that is my answer, inside, outside. All right, let's take a look here. Um, given the graph to the right, what is the value of G of F of two? So basically on a graph, we would first look, here's our F is this function right here. We would go to two and see that it comes out at one. So F of two, let's, I think I have to do it over here. F of two equals one. So now I need to do, okay, well, what's G of one? So now I'm going to go to one, go up to G and I get 1.5, okay? Now, the other option that you can do, let me just make sure that that's what I got when I did this the first time. Yep, I did. The other thing, I'm, I'm gonna type it in here just so that you can um, see it a little bit better because I do like the functioning of the Desmos calculator when it comes to graphs. So if they give you the functions, Honestly, I would just type it into Desmos, okay? Because watch what we do now. Remember how we had g of f of 1? g of f of, oh, of 2. There's the answer. Like it gives it to you. All you have to do is type in the function. Hello. How amazing is that? Amazing, okay? And that's exactly what we're going to do on the next one. So we're going to X these out and let's look at number six. We've got A of X equals three X plus one. And I actually didn't even show you that trick in the previous videos I should have. I made you do it one step at a time. Uh, B of X equals X squared minus two X plus one. Now this one is a little bit trickier to write. All it means is A, parentheses, B, and then keep going. So we're going to do A first. We just go right in order, parentheses, B, and then the number that we care about, negative 4. The answer is 76. I mean, this is why my YouTube channel is so valuable to you, okay? If you watched Khan Academy's channel, it would not be like this yet, at least not in 2024. And as I've told you, if you haven't watched the unit eight video, you need to watch it because if you understand all the concepts I teach you in unit eight, you probably would understand about 60% of your test. And I talked about that in the video because this is the breakdown of the questions. So unit eight is the mid version. So remember, I'm not helping the kids get from 650 to 800. We're kind of capping in the 680, 690 range. But 26 to 30 of your questions, the techniques I'm showing you with the Desmos calculator will help you with those questions, okay? Just in unit eight alone. To get the other stuff, you know, you would watch the other units. 
All right, but before we go on, um, let me just read your note. Hi, just checking in on how you're doing. Are you sticking to the study schedule you made? Watch the pillars video to understand that. If yes, great. If not, no worries. Honestly, it is okay. If it's not, you know, it's okay. Um, but now just revisit, recommit to yourself. But before you go on to my next video, you know, go back to Khan Academy, right? So my videos are meant to be just like a friend to Khan, like a hug to Khan, to, because their videos are good, just not necessarily as engaging and don't focus on Desmos. So head back over to Khan, do Unit 8, Lesson 5, the practice questions. And then when you come back, um, we're going to be going on to Isolating Quantities, uh, Lesson 6. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.